Hello everyone, so in my last video a lot of people wanted a tutorial on how I install the GIF onto the TFT screen of this keyboard. It's pretty easy but it took me a while playing around to figure it out too so today I'll be teaching you what I did to get it to work. First head to Adjaz's website and under download center you'll search for the keyboard name. I think Adjaz runs two websites and last time I checked only this one has a software to download but I could be wrong. You'll need the software to change GIFs so this is a requirement. I tried looking for the software for the Pro but it's better to just type in AK820 and you'll find the Pro software there. When I first looked for this program, there were a few different ones from other websites, but the one I'm showing today is from Adjaz's website. A couple of different versions show up, but click on the Pro version and install it. For the GIF, I found there were a few extra steps needed to be done in order to send the file to the keyboard. So while the program is installing, I'll be showing you how I did that. Unfortunately, you can't just send a regular GIF to the keyboard, you have to split it first. I'll be using this website to split my GIF, but you can use any other ones you prefer. Splitting a GIF is just taking all the frames or images out of the GIF so that they can become separate files or a bunch of photos. You can upload a GIF from your computer or paste a link, but I've personally only done the upload way and it's easier for me. Once you've uploaded the GIF, click on upload. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load. When I first did this, I thought it wasn't working, but give it a few seconds. Otherwise, you can refresh and try again. When it finishes uploading, the GIF pops up, and you can actually edit it a little bit before you split the GIF. I cropped mine a little bit so it's more zoomed in on my TFT screen. You can rotate, reverse, change the speed and stuff apparently, but I personally haven't tried those features. It took a while and adjusted the crop a few times. Uh, once I was ready, I hit the crop button. Which if you scroll down a little bit, it's the blue button when you're done. I do suggest cropping your GIF so it's more zoomed in if you can. Because the screen is so small, it's hard to see if it's super tiny. So yeah, this is an example of giving it a few seconds to load. Once you're satisfied with the final look of your GIF, you scroll down a bit and under the GIF there's an option to split it. This takes you back to the initial page we were on before cropping. And that's kind of why I like this website. It's free to use and they have so many edits you can do to the GIF too. Click on split two frames to split the GIF into individual images. And this is an example of me waiting for the GIF to split, but nothing happens. So for this, I will recommend pressing refresh or F5 and trying again. The website is kind of slow, but be patient. It will refresh and still keep your current work saved. Once it loads up again, just press the split to frames button just like last time. And this time it worked! So you can review the frames they split the GIF into and if you think it looks good then we're going to download the frames as a zip file. Honestly, you don't really have to review anything, it usually comes out correct every time. But if you want to make sure, you can. So once you press download, it can take a few seconds or minutes to complete. Once it's finished downloading, it is a zip file, so you will need to extract the contents out before you can use them or even view them. You can't really see the menu when I right click, but how you extract a file is right click the folder and click extract all and it should create a new extracted folder in which you can use. Thankfully, the hard part is over. The Adjaz program should have finished installing. Let's head back over there. Okay, so this is how it looks when you launch the program without the keyboard plugged in. You do need to plug the keyboard in for this to work. And all the menu options pop up when the keyboard is finally connected. There's a lot you can actually customize through this software. I've customized my light brightness, color, and modes on here before as well. 
The TFT screen customization is the icon that looks like a TV on the left side. All my previous GIFs are saved here still. To add a new one, click on New and press the plus button to import all the images in the folder we extracted earlier. And here are all the images. You can actually add multiple GIFs in rotation if you click on the plus sign next to font size 16. This is so that you can have more than one GIF playing on the keyboard rather than just sticking to one. Just make sure you click the last image in the scroll bar before adding the new images so they stay in order. Once you're ready, click upload to keyboard and depending on the GIF size, the load times change. When the GIF is loading in the keyboard, you see a loading screen and it should reach 100 when you're done. And that's it! It's a lot of steps to remember the first time, but after you've done it a couple times, it gets way easier. And yep, that's it!